Let's talk about the latest inflation data. I thought you'd really be interested in this because this really affects all of us. And the consumer price index climbed to 5.4% from a year earlier as strained supply chains keep pushing up prices. U.S. inflation accelerated slightly in September as shortages of labor related to the pandemic and materials continue to push up prices. And speaking of push, can you help me out by pushing the like button so YouTube promotes this video? And if you're new, join the family, click the subscribe button to keep up to date right away. The Labor Department said the Consumer Price Index, which measures what consumers pay for goods and services, rose a seasonally adjusted 0.4% in September from August. That is faster than in August, but down quite a bit from June's 0.9%. Now, on an annual basis, inflation picked up with CPI rising 5.4% in September. And on an annual basis, inflation picked up with the CPI rising 5.4% in September from a year earlier, which is a slight uptick from August and the same rate in June and July, which was the highest since 2008. And the so-called core price index, like an apple core, which doesn't include the categories of food and energy, which are often volatile, in September climbed 4% from a year earlier, the same rate as August. Prices for groceries, gasolines, and heating fuels rose along with the cost of new vehicles, rent, and furniture, and prices fell for used autos, airline fares, and apparel. Now, Omar Sharif, the founder of Inflation Insights LC, said, it looks like some of these supply chain and inventory challenges are going to stick with us for a bit longer, at least through the rest of the year. He said recent price pressures include the firming up of housing rents and other prices that tend to move more slowly. And higher inflation is also likely to trigger the largest increase in decades for Social Security benefits that seniors and other Americans receive. The Social Security Administration will release its annual cost of living adjustment later on Wednesday. In fact, see our video on the national debt for more information on the dire condition of Social Security income. Rising energy prices driven by the global recovery and demand, disrupted supply and geopolitical forces could also keep prices high, and consumers are already feeling this directly as gasoline prices now average $3.29 a gallon, the highest level in seven years, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. And steeper energy bills could also add to the higher costs companies now face, increasing the pressure to pass those prices on to shoppers. Unusually high demand is a crucial factor driving higher inflation. Spending jumped at an 11.9% pace in the second quarter as more people received the COVID-19 vaccinations. Businesses reopened and trillions of dollars in federal aid cursed through the economy. Consumer spending continued to surge in August. Now, the shortage of workers is also driving up wages, putting pressure on companies to raise prices, and the sharp uptick in restaurant prices during the past few months is a sign of this passing through from wages into higher prices, economists say. Companies are struggling with scarce material caused by a combination of snarled supply chains as well as disrupted production and elevated demand because of the pandemic. And the ratio of sales to inventories for retailers hit record lows in the spring and have inched up slightly more. The combination of truck driver prices and continued consumer demand for goods has gummed up ports, causing delays in deliveries of goods and sending shipping prices soaring. Now, many companies are passing on the higher labor and material costs to consumers. In September, some 46% of small businesses said they plan to raise prices in the next few months on net, according to the National Federation of Independent Businesses, the Trade Association. The most since monthly records were being kept since 1986. An example is the shortage of semiconductors that has curbed auto production, causing new and used vehicle prices to soar. And the supply of new autos continues to be constrained by the chip shortage, as well as by the resurgence of COVID-19 infections in Asia that led to the shutdowns of factories and ports. And prices for new vehicles are still rising, and there are signs that used car prices are rebounding. Now, the Mannheim Index of U.S. used car wholesale prices reached a new high in September after edging lower over the summer. And Federal Reserve officials are closely watching many inflation measures to gauge whether the recent jump in prices will prove temporary or lasting. And one such factor is consumer expectations of future inflation, which can prove self-fulfilling as households are more likely to demand higher wages and accept higher prices when they anticipate higher future price growth. 
that consumers' median inflation expectation for three years from now rose to 4.2% in September from 4% a month earlier, according to a survey by the New York Fed. September's reading was the highest since the survey began in 2013. Fed Vice Chairman Richard Clarita said Tuesday that the underlying rate of inflation on the U.S. economy is near the Fed's 2% longer run objective, and thus the recent surge will prove largely transitory once the supply bottlenecks clear. However, he said the Fed would raise rates if it saw evidence that households and businesses were beginning to expect much higher inflation. Monetary policy would react to that, Mr. Clarita said, but that is not the case at present. Higher inflation is complicating business planning at many companies. Adam Lewin, who owns a business materials distribution business based in Columbus, Ohio, started noticing the price increase in the spring, and then it was just one after another, he said. His company, Hamilton Parker, sells masonry, tile, fireplaces, and other building products to consumers and other businesses, and it soon raised its own prices just to keep up. Shipping delays are compounding the uncertainty around prices, and delivery times for all of the company's products are stretched. Garage doors are arriving in 15 weeks, when they used to take just two, Mr. Lewin said. The risk to us as a result of price changes is that projects can be canceled impacting future sales. Consumer relationships can be challenged based on unforeseen price changes, and there is significant stress on my team communicating these price updates, he said. Places for services hit hardest by COVID-19 are still recovering to pre-pandemic levels, including for air travel, entertainment, and recreation. In fact, the recent outbreak of the Delta variant of COVID-19 likely weakened that rebound somewhat in August, many economists say. Conversely, as cases recede, prices for those services will likely stage a recovery. Please click like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching. This is The Business Guy.